All right, we're going to start this unit by talking about different ways of displaying categorical variables. OK, and we're going to start by showing the data in a frequency table. So a frequency table just uses category names on the left um, for each row and then records the total count of each value. And uh, almost always we're going to have relative frequency tables as well, where we have that relative frequency column, which talks about the percent. So if we look over here, uh, this shows the uh, the different eye colors of you know a group of maybe uh, maybe students or people or whoever students are people too I guess. Um, so there are five people with blue eyes in this group, thirteen people with brown eyes, two people with green eyes, and three people with some other kind of eyes. Okay, that's the frequency. So if we add up all of these things, if we add up everything here. All right, that's going to be the total number of subjects. All right, so if we add them up on the bottom, that's uh, 23. It should always be our N, right? Our total number, our sample size, if you will. Okay, so always make sure that that's the case. And so the relative frequency is just the percentage of people who have that thing. So for relative frequency, we're going to have to go off to the side and do a little calculation. What's 5 out of 23? What's 13 out of 23? What's 2 out of 23? And so on. Okay, the relative frequency is just the percentage. So just divide it and convert it into a percent. So if we go to our calculator, my calculator is my trusty, dusty Google. 5 out of 23 is about 21.74%. All right, and we're just gonna type this in for all of them. And now we're gonna go up to 13, 56, 52. Go over to two. And we have 8.70. And three is going to be 13.04. So when we look at these percentages, right, the frequency over here should add up to our sample size and the relative frequency should add up to something as well. Specifically, that relative frequency should add up to 100%. All right, this is important. If it doesn't add up to 100%, we did something wrong. So just real quickly, kind of eyeballing it, um, add this together, that's 77, and then plus another 8 is like 85, plus 13 is like 98, so it's pretty close. And I didn't, like, obviously I didn't do the decimals in my head, but I could have done the decimals, and it will add up to 100%, maybe barring some rounding error. Okay, and that's a frequency table and a relative frequency table. Okay, so these are good things to do and we sometimes represent these with bar charts and pie charts. Okay, so we've all seen these before. Um, so a bar chart just shows the frequency on the left. Oops, that is not visible to you all. It shows the frequency on the left and on the bottom, it's going to be the different, you know, categories. So we have blue, brown, green, and other. Blue, brown, green, and other. Brown, perfect. All right, and uh, the frequency is just these numbers right here. Five, 13, two, three. So let's, uh, maybe we count every other, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, et cetera. And then we just draw the, draw the rectangles. Don't have the rectangles touch, okay? The rectangles should not be touching here in a proper bar chart. So blue was, uh, was five, so we go up to five, draw a little box like this. 
brown was up to 13. So that's going to be up here. Green was two. That's kind of short. And other was three. That's a little higher. All right, and that's our bar chart. You can fill these in if you want. They're usually solid or kind of uh, you color code them or you could do a couple of different things, but at its heart, that's what a bar chart is. The categories are on the bottom. That's not how you spell categories. The categories are on the bottom and uh, the frequencies are the Y axis. All right, and a pie chart. So again, this right here, this shows the frequency. The pie chart shows the relative frequency. Making sure that we label everything. So to start with the pie chart, we just draw what's supposed to be a circle. It's not quite a circle here, and then divide it up into pieces. Okay. Um, and we're going to organize our pieces um, by size and then label everything. So the biggest side is 56.5%. That's going to be a little over 50% of the pie. And that's going to be people with brown eyes. So we're going to label it brown with the percent. 56.52%. The next biggest is blue, which is about 21%. That's about a fifth of the percent and it's about uh two-fifths of what's remaining maybe like it's like this blue is going to be 21.74 percent other is a little smaller that's going to be 13.04 uh, percent doesn't look a little smaller but And the last one is green, which is only 8.70%. So label it with the color, label it with the percents, and here we go. Now, as you can see, right, you're supposed to draw this to scale. But as you can see, you know, we don't eyeball things very well. I'm not going to make you, and I'm certainly not going to do this either, get a protractor. If we ever need to make a pie chart, we're going to be making it with technology. People don't make pie charts by hand anymore okay but just to illustrate the idea um, the important things is that you do have your labels okay All right they need to be labeled with the color the category and the percent all right but yeah if we if i ever need a if i ever make you make one of these i'll have you do it uh, with the computer the important thing is that you know how to read one Okay, and that you know uh, basically what they are. So let's do an example to uh, answer some questions here. What proportion of the group has blue eyes? So we can look at our pie chart. We could look at the frequency table. The proportion that has blue eyes was 5 out of 23. Or about 21.74%. All right, uh, you can either answer in... In, in either either fashion is okay. Okay, so this, both are okay. If I ever want either a percent or a fraction, I'll specify, but in general, I'll accept either. Last question, what proportion has green or brown eyes? So what proportion is green or brown eyes? That's this entire section of the pie, right? green or brown eyes, you just add them together. Okay. So if we do that, add them together, um, that's going to be 15 out of 23. Or we could add up the percents manually or just type 15 out of 23 into a calculator. Uh, 65, 22. You get a more precise value if you type it in again but I'm not going to be too picky on that. And that's frequency tables, bar charts, and pie charts. And a little introduction on displaying qualitative or categorical data and uh, talking about proportions. Remember, categorical data has to do with proportions 
whereas numerical data or quantitative data, we all oftentimes are going to talk about means in that case. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.